Green propaganda seems to have captured the hearts and minds of Australia's political and corporate elites. I can only come to the conclusion that these political and corporate types are followers, not leaders, and obviously don't read or study. Cop this. Every day we hear Australia's energy ministers, top CEOs and senior bureaucrats say Australia can be a renewable energy superpower. And they say we must, quote, take advantage of our abundant sun and wind resources, unquote. They say we can use renewable energy to make Australia a green manufacturing superpower. And they say we should do this to, quote, capitalise on the global transition to net zero, unquote. In other words, the Greenies think that by relying on weather dependent solar panels and wind turbines, we can start manufacturing the solar panels and wind turbines here. They've already been proven wrong. And we can thank the Europeans for exposing their stupidity. This week, the media reported that 35 gigawatts of solar panel manufacturing projects in Europe are at risk of being mothballed because power prices are too high. According to energy consultancy, Reistad Energy, the energy intensive nature of both solar PV and battery cell manufacturing processes is forcing many operators to temporarily close or abandon production facilities as power prices soar. The numbers prove my point. According to Reistad, Europe's low carbon manufacturers have based their buildup of production capacity on stable power prices of about 50 euros a megawatt hour. But because of the failure of renewables to provide cheap and stable energy and the war in Ukraine, prices around 300 to 400 euros a megawatt hour, six to eight times higher than what is required to profitably produce solar panels. Well, we face the same fate. According to data that ADH has gathered from the Australian energy market operator, power prices on the East Coast are far too expensive to produce solar panels. And we've just read today, they just shot up. I'll talk about that tomorrow. Now, when adjusting for exchange rates, the average price for power on the East Coast for September was almost double the price required to profitably produce solar panels in Europe, a region with a very similar wage, tax and regulatory structure to that of Australia. My point, Australia has no hope of becoming a renewable energy superpower. Our energy prices are way too high to manufacture these sorts of technologies. And our energy prices are too high because of our reliance on the very technologies the green elites want to produce with the little power we have. As a result, China will continue making most of the world's solar panels that Australia is foolishly installing to keep the lights on, all while Xi and his cronies build another 100 coal-fired power plants to keep their racket going. When will we wake up here in the West? Because if we don't now, we never wake, but we may never wake up. I'll tell you something. We'll wake up when the lights in our homes and the traffic lights and the computers no longer work and you can't charge your mobile phone. Time to start thinking. It may already be too late.